The purpose of this video is to show how to calibrate a VNA, cheap VNA, <laughs> so that it takes into account the uh, cable loss while I'm testing antennas because um, what I'm going to do is use this antenna for one end of a, a link within the room, radio link, and then using this long black cable, which is five meters long, <clears throat> I'm going to connect to the other antenna which is down here, which is going to be almost five meters away. I'm going to test these antennas um, against the antenna that you can see up there. And the cable is relatively low loss. Um, I'll put in the description what it is. I think it might be LMR200. It's not the best, but it's better than some of these others like RG316, which is very lossy at around one gigahertz. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is to calibrate out the loss in this cable so that I only see the the path loss between the antennas and I'm not going to go through the whole procedure of calibrating a VNA um, I'll just show you some of the highlights uh, so <clears throat> we hit the menu and I'm afraid this is going to be out of focus a lot because this nice it can mobile phone is able to focus so um, we go to calibrate and then press calibrate again and I've already actually calibrated open and short circuits and load and isolation. That's where you screw on these um, when requested, the open and the short and the load, and then move on to the next item. And it tells you where to go next on this sequence of calibration. And what I'm going to do is only to calibrate the through, because at the moment you can see the curve, which is on 10 dBs per division, is showing the real loss in that cable. And at 870 megahertz, it's about 3 dBs. Um, depending on how this was calibrated before, that may not be true. But it doesn't matter because we're going to calibrate it out. So what I do is just hit the through button on calibration. That's done the calibration now. And you'll notice this indication over here is red, which means it hasn't been saved yet. So we have to hit the done button and then save it. So when I press done, it will apply the calibration it just made. Dink. So now the curve is flat and you can see there's zero dBs loss across the whole frequency range. So the loss in the cable has been subtracted. So you don't see it. And this that red indication has now turned white. That means the calibration is finished. Not that it hasn't been saved, it's finished. So it's now done. And what I'm going to do is to save that. So if I go back, I can hit the save button here and put it in one of my favorites. It's the second one up from the bottom, which is that one. So that whole calibration is now saved. And you can see that the the loss between these two ports is now 0 dB. The little blue marker here shows where 0 dB so there's no loss, which of course is not the truth, but it's calibrated out the loss in the cable. So now I can make slightly more meaningful measurements of antenna gain or path loss between antennas, and I'm going to go on to measure those in the next video.